Hi and welcome to this video where we'll be focusing on how to enable the Playout Remote features in Myriad Anywhere Cloud. This is a fairly quick process that can be achieved in six easy steps. First, we're going to upgrade any Playout systems that you want to be accessible remotely to version 5.23 or higher. We also need to do exactly the same for your remote edit server or res, so you need to download 5.23 for both Playout and res. Then we're going to enter a station enabler code, which unlocks the features we will need for remote access. We also need to set which locations need to be accessible remotely and also which users will be able to access them. Finally, we're going to restart the software and get everything sorted. So let's get started. A little full name for the software used in this video is Myriad Anywhere Cloud Playout Remote. We'll be referring to it as simply Playout Remote for the remainder of the video. In order to use Playout Remote, you need to be on Myriad Playout 5.23 or higher. To check the version you have, click on the Help menu and then click About and you'll see the version number. If you haven't got the correct version number, go to broadcastradio.com, click on the Support and then choose Myriad Playout Support. Click on Download Software, and here you can download the latest versions of both Myriad Playout and Remote Edit Server. Run the installers and follow the on-screen instructions, and you'll soon be upgraded to version 5.23. You need to do the same thing with Remote Edit Server. Click on Help, click on About, and check you're on the correct version. Next, you'll need to enter unique station enabler code, which unlocks the features of remote playout. To do that, go to the settings menu, database settings, database settings, and then the stations tab, then click on the station details button. In here is where you put in your station enabler features code. Currently, there is no features enabled in this database, so let's go ahead and add some in. Click on the Manage Enabler Code button. We'll provide you with a unique license code, which you can paste in here. Then click on the Install button. After a few seconds, the system will authenticate against our servers and your features will be enabled within the system. Next, we have to set which locations or installations of Myriad Playout should be accessible to your remote users. To do this, click on the Settings menu, Database Settings, Database Settings, and then the Locations tab. Here you can see a list of all the systems on our network, along with whether they should be visible, whether they should be accessible by remote, or whether they should be accessible by the Smart Transfer menu. In this case, we're only interested in the remote column. Tick all of the installations that you want to be accessible by Playout Remote. So in this case, we've got Playout in Studio 1, Studio 2, and the Automation PC. When you're happy, click on OK. Now that we know which locations will be accessible by Playout Remote, we also have to set which users can access them. That can be done in either a user group or as an individual security permission per user. Let's look at the group option first. Click on the settings menu, user management and directory settings. In here is where you manage your user groups. Let's take a look at the presenters group. Double click to open and we can see we've got some permissions here that are related to remote access. The top one allows remote access for RVT or remote voice tracking this is either using Myriad Anywhere RVT or Desktop RVT. The second one allows for remote playout, again, using either Myriad Anywhere Desktop or Myriad Anywhere Cloud. In this case, we want to tick both options to allow the users to both voice track and remotely control the system. Please note that remote controlling the system is only available if you also have access to RVT. Now let's look and see how we could do the same thing for an individual user. Go to the Settings menu, User Management, and this time Edit Contacts and Users. Find the user you want to edit, double click on them, go to the Security Settings tab, 
and make sure that Use Specific Permissions is the selected option. You can then click on the Edit Permissions and set the same settings. Remember to save the user once you've finished editing their permissions. The final step is to restart all the Myriad installations that you've upgraded to ensure that all the settings have propagated to all the workstations. Simply go to File menu, Exit, and say Yes, and then restart Myriad 5.23. Remember, you also have to do exactly the same with your res installation. Now that everything is restarted, we're ready to start using Myriad Anywhere Cloud Playout Remote. Thanks for watching.